First time, this is part three of our lesson plan, the one and only true religion of God, brothers and sisters. We're talking about Abraham. Let's go to Genesis chapter 21. And his obedience, brothers and sisters. Yes. We talked about Adam and his disobedience, brothers and sisters. We talked about the baby that will be born of Abraham's seed. Ishmael, the firstborn, brothers and sisters, by the Egyptian woman, Hagar. But we still have not found the answer to the question, mm -hmm. what is the one and only true religion of God, brothers mm. and sisters? We got wars over religion, Brother Julius. We got killings, Brother Black Eyes. We have divisions over religion. Over 147 people <coughs> on a college campus in Kenya, Africa, were killed, Brother Julius. Why, Black Eyes? Religion. We don't hear too much about these things, brothers and sisters. But I thought religion was supposed to be peace. It's supposed to and be. And love and harmony and brotherhood. Let's find out, brother Julius. Genesis chapter 17. Ja let's go to Genesis 21. Genesis 21. And verse 1. We're picking this up. This is part three of part four of our lesson, brothers and sisters. The one and only true religion of God. We're picking this up at Genesis 21. And 1. And 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did... Unto Sarah as he had spoken. And what happened? And what was it that he had spoke to Sarah? That at 90 years old, that she was going to be having a child. And she laughed at God, and brothers she, and sisters. Uh, yes, she did. She laughed. She laughed at She said she didn't, but she did. Verse 2. Yeah. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken uh -huh. to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him. Whom Sarah bore to him, uh -huh. Isaac. Isaac. And what does the name Isaac mean, brothers and sisters? Man. Laughter. <coughs> the Lord says, since you laughed at me, your son is going to be called Isaac, brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. Verse 4. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. So, that's the, so that uh, circumcision, Ishmael was circumcised. Jesus was circumcised. Eight days old. And so was Isaac. Mm -hmm. Paul was circumcised eight days old. You can read that. So now, <coughs> excuse me, sisters and brothers. Uh, let's look what happened. Verse 10. Skip down to verse 10. Verse 10. You Genesis. see, two women can't get along with one husband mm -hmm. can't get along in the same household. Problem. Verse 10, Ice. Genesis 21 and 10. Uh -huh. Wherefore, she said unto Abraham, cast out this bondwoman and her son. For the son of this bondwoman <coughs> shall not be heir with my son, uh -huh. even with Isaac. Go ahead. And God and and the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. Because Ishmael was his firstborn, but he wasn't the son of the covenant. Black eyes. Mm -hmm. Out of Ishmael came Islam. We go. We go somewhere with this. Come on, I finish it. And God said unto Abraham, yep. "Let it not be grievous in thy sight because yes. of the lad, yes. and because of thy bondwoman, uh -huh. and all that Sarah have said unto thee. Hearken unto her voice. Uh -huh. For in Isaac shall they shall thy seed be be called." Let's go to Genesis chapter twenty-two. Let's see what happens. Notice Abraham is very obedient to God and everything. No crying. No. No uh, pleading. Just obedience. Just obedience. Genesis 22. Uh-huh. At verse 11. Genesis 22 and 11. <laughs> I'm sorry. To, uh, we got to start this at verse uh, 2. Genesis 22 and 2. Yeah. And it reads, And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Mor Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains. Which Wait a I minute, tell black guys. Why did he call Isaac his only son? Because that's where the covenant was going through, Brother Julius. He did the bloodline was kept pure through him and Sarah. Wow. So what so what happened to Agar didn't count in God's eyes. Didn't count. Although he blessed him. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't the child of the covenant. Brothers and sisters, imagine. Sending your firstborn son away. And then finally getting a son with you and your wife, brothers and sisters. And then God telling you to kill that son when you've tried so long to have a child. Mm. Imagine the internal conflict, brothers and sisters. Wow. One has to have 
with the emotional flesh. Okay. Well, black eyes, check this out. Isaac, right? Uh-huh. Skip down to Genesis 22 and verse 15. Genesis 22 and 15. Now, you guys know what happened up to this point, brothers and sisters. He did what he was told to do. Uh-huh. An angel began to intervene. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time uh -huh. and said, Be, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing. What did he do? What, the, what thing, black eyes? He tried to kill his son as the Lord told him. Sacrifice your son. But he believed God, didn't he? And the angel stopped him before he did it. Go ahead. He said, for because thou has done this thing uh -huh. and has not withheld thy son, thine only son, Go ahead. that in blessing I will bless thee, uh -huh. and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven. Go ahead, I and as the sand thy which, seed. Go ahead. And as and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gates of thine enemies. Of his enemies. Continue at verse 18. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. And in thy seed, in thy seed, not seeds as a more than one, but one. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Come on, black guys. Because thou hast obeyed my voice. Uh -huh. So Abraham returned unto his young men, uh -huh. and they rose up and went together to Beersheba, and Abram dwelt at Beersheba. And so now we got something else that's going to happen. So Abraham had Isaac, and then Isaac, <laughs> wow. Why, why are we going here, brothers and sisters? We still in the book of Genesis, yes. brothers and sisters. Why are we still here? I know some of you all are going to say, well, I'm a New Testament Christian. Hmm. Well, brothers and sisters, once you get past the Gospels, brothers and sisters, those other books of the Bible, until you get to the book of Revelation, uh -huh. brothers and sisters, are letters that Paul wrote, brothers and sisters, yes. to churches. They're, they're letters. And in those letters, you know what it contain? What's written in the Gospel and what's written in the Old Testament. So you can't get around it, brothers and sisters. This is the pure, uncut, unadulterated word of God. Now, the question is, brothers and sisters, uh -huh. what is the only, one and only true religion of God? What is this? That's the question. Hang in there. We're going to give you the answer. <laughs> Why are you messing with me, brother? Hang in there. We're going to give you the answer, brother. Let's go to Genesis 24. Genesis 24. And why are we dealing so much with Abraham? Because every religion in the world was birthed out of the children of this man. Call out a name, brothers and sisters. Well, what about Catholicism? Black Ice and Brother Julius? Wouldn't that be out of JFET? JFET. Still. Read Genesis, the chimp chapter. Out of Noah's son. Noah's JFET. son. JFET, brothers and sisters. Uh-huh. Didn't come up under the covenant, though. Now, what about Islam? Out of Abraham. Out of Abraham, brothers Come and from sisters. Ishmael. Uh, uh, and let me make the correction, brothers and sisters. I said every religion came out of Abraham. I meant every religion came out of one of three Noah, three sons, right. brothers and sisters. That, one of Noah, three sons. So I wanted to make that correction. So Noah's sons in Genesis, the 10th chapter, they tell you it was Shem, Ham, and Japheth, brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. Catholicism come out of the Japheth, the Gentiles. If you're not out of the seed of Japheth, you are not a Gentile. Uh -huh. So if you're African American, if you're black, if you're from Africa, you are not a Gentile, brothers and sisters. Gentiles only come out of Europe according to Genesis, the 10th chapter. Read it. It says, by these were the isles of the Gentiles. Speaking of the descendants of Japheth. But what about the other two sons? Ham. Which is where Egypt came from and Canaan and put and even the Philistines even the Philistines the Egyptians all those Egypt all those black people they are not Gentiles according to the word of God they are Hamites brothers and sisters wow and then you got another son called Shem which is the lineage of where Abraham came from and then through Abraham, you broke off into Islam through his first son Ishmael and through Isaac brothers and sisters right is where the Israelite nation came from, brothers and sisters. Absolutely. So you talk about, well, where did Jehovah Witness come from? And where did Pentecostal come from? And where did, did the seven-day Adventist come from? And where did the Church of God and Christ come from? And 
I hate to, I got to tell you the Tell it, like Brother that. Julius. They come out of the Gentiles. Those religions come out of the Gentiles. They're called Protestant religions. Who's the founder of the Jehovah Witness religion? Charles Taze Russell. Russell. Russellites. Watchtower. A Caucasian of European descent, brothers and sisters. Remember, if you're from Europe, you're a Gentile that come up out of that sea called Japheth. All the other religions also as well, up under the banner of Christianity. Mm -hmm. That's why you go to church on Sunday. That's why a cross is bore in your church, brothers and sisters. It all comes from Roman, the Roman Empire and Constantine. Absolutely. Look it up for Look yourself. it up, system, brother. We dare you to go on your computer and look up the origin of the cross and the origin of Sunday worship and watch you run into a name of a man called Constantine. Where well, you want to pick this up, brother? I want to go to Genesis, Black Ice. Uh-huh. And I want to pick this up at Genesis 32. Genesis 32. For the sake of time, Isaac and Rebekah had Esau and Jacob, and now... Jacob still came out of Abraham. Uh huh. Uh, and pick it up in verse 24. Genesis 32 and 24. Yes. And it reads And Jacob was left alone. Yes. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. Go ahead, Ice. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, uh -huh. he touched the hollow of his thigh. Yes. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. Continue. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. Uh -huh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless except me. Except thou bless me. Go ahead, Black Eyes. 27. And he said unto him, what is thy name? What is thy name? He said, Jacob. Go ahead. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, what? but Israel. For as a prince thou has thou power with God and with men uh -huh. and has prevailed. Now we got Israel being introduced, brothers and sisters. Here we go. For the first time in the Bible. Brothers yeah. and sisters, stay tuned for part four <laughs> of what is the one and only true religion of God. Here on the Bible Radio Show, The Truth Hour, uh -huh. hosted by Black Ice. And Brother Julius. Stay tuned for part four for those